work on work on the things you want to work on when you're not in the the, the situations like that. Francisco Cervelli, talk about launch angle, bat, his third home run of the spring. He has looked so good this spring training, not just at the plate, but behind the plate, and he has some pop. Francisco Cervelli, and he's always been short. Uh, they're, they're looking for guys to be accountable. They're looking for some young players. They're looking for another Garrett Cole. They're looking for another Andrew McCutcheon. They hope and they think those guys are. Awfully encouraging to see a former first round pick, Will Craig out of Wake Forest. Just That was a missile. I mean, this ball just took off. Uh, didn't hit it all that hot. For real. Julio's faced the minimum through three innings with a trio of strikeouts, and Aaron Hicks has just greeted him with a mammoth shot deep to right field. I figure a man who's named Aaron would know how to hit a long ball, and he just did into the Braves' pen for a 1-0 Yankees lead. The Yankees. To center and deep. Ender is not going to get back. Neither one teepees, and as I said before the game started, Julio had only given up one home run, which was very unusual for him for spring training. Determine if it was an obvious. That ball's hammered deep toward right by Albies, and that ball is gone. Two-run homer for... Second time through the order for both of these starting pitchers, a little... Rough so far. There's a high deep drive. He lays into this one deep to left and gone. Safe to say, Xander Bogarts made an adjustment from one swing to the next, and the Red Sox lead it 4 nothing. The 0-1 on the way, fly a ball, that's hit well to left field. That's hit very well. Jacob May goes back, and you can forget it. For the spring, for the Dodgers, their 52nd that they have hit overall. And here in the first, the Dodgers have a 3 to nothing lead. And he got a breaking ball right into his swing right here with a curveball. Without uh, 90 wins. High fly ball, that's hit very well. It's to right center field, and this is a souvenir. White Sox on the board. It's a one-run game, three to two. And for Barnum, that's only his second at bat in spring training in the A games, and he hits a home run. Well, that was uh... and Garcia, the third Dodger pitcher, delivers, and this ball is whacked to center field and going back tolls, going back tolls, and it is now five to three White Sox. That was a three and two slider. Ruiz wanted the ball earlier today. He is multitasking and the pitch and boy that one is hit well into center field and that one is gone. Mikes. Scott he's got a bat and he drove the ball against Skaggs deep. They know what they have if they can get him to make more consistent contact and use the other part of the field too. Harum. Pitch and this is lifted in the air and it's hit well into right center field. That ball out there in right center. He's hit their second run and uh, just hit number two for the Angels in this ball game. Of season because he has been known for so many years and the struggles of sticking to the big league because of the lack of offense. But and, and changing things up a little bit on the mound also. So we'll see where he's at tonight. You mentioned that he's this is going to be a second start. He did have a start in the minor leagues. Fly ball left field driving Heredia back. On the track, and that thing got out. Felix's last official start was against these Cubs on February 26th. Well. That ball is way out of here. He got the count in his favor, and he covers this one, boy. <laughs> Big dude, 6'5", 265. Well hit the center. Toppy it back on it. It is gone. A home run. And 
Yeah, 21 long balls for Vossler last year. Boy, pretty swing. It looked like some kind of a split finger pitch 